just bought this massive 10 by 30 storage unit for $720. And I saw two rifles right in the back, so I feel like there's gotta be more hidden inside. Let's start looking. Let's look in this shoe tote here. I see a lot of dress shoes, quick lid, hangers, uh, more dress shoes, more things like that. This is most likely gonna be yard sale, a dollar a pair kind of tote because I'm not seeing nothing high end in there, so probably 15 bucks. This 10 by 30 storage unit right here is also the same guys that we also bought. We'll get into that one another time. This right here, also pretty big, nice, and actually surprisingly super clean microwave, Hamilton Beach. I think they sell it at Walmart for the most part, so I'll probably say pre-owned, probably get 20, 30 bucks for that. These boxes say American Racing, and the fact that there's four of them makes me probably think in the next of these are probably also some set of rims. Let's see if that's what it is. They're actually Jeep rims. Huh, that's gotta be worth a little decent something, I would think. Now we got all the car rims out. Let's go into this big old black bag here, which is Velcroed really tight, and see what this is. Those bowling shoes, looks like a pair of bowling shoes, but it feels really heavy. So I'm gonna guess in the main compartment there's probably a bowling ball, because that's about the weight it feels. Oh, look at that. A big old, what's that, Clash? Is that a good brand, bowling people? Clash, bowling ball? But bowling ball and bowling shoes and a bowling bag, that's gotta be worse than there. Something in the pockets, too. Ooh. Let's see what that is. Something good. Uh, what the heck? Like a wristband and powder and stuff? Yeah, so just literally all bowling stuff, most likely. Let's check the other side, too. That side's only got that in it. Probably something for your wrist too. So a whole little bowling starting kit. So we went ahead and moved a bunch of the clothes here because I wanted to get to the stuff under it. And whatever's in this bag is definitely not clothes. It's a lot harder than that. So let's see what's tied up in here. Come on, open up, open up. Was that a jewelry box? Looks like a little miniature, upside down one that has nothing in it, unfortunately. And how do I get this bag all the way open? It's just not cooperating with me. Pull. Oh. Okay. okay, take it open. <laughs> we got some Toys? little, yeah, little miniature like Bible thing, a truck. What else is in here? Ammo, gorilla, little stuffed animals, a couple of beanie babies. Yeah, look, there's Daisy the cow, there's the goat, and the bottom of it looks like it's all beanie babies, and the top of it looks like it's just some other random toys. There's a Corvette. So more toys over here. Looks like we got the Hulk. I wonder if he's old or newer. Let's see, do you have a date on his foot? It just says Marvel on it. There's the Hulk. Is this the Transformer or just a random off-brand robot? I, that's one show I never watched growing up with the Transformer, no so I'm not sure, but cool robot. And then we got, let's see. Logo, is that a calculator? Is it a TI something? Yeah, TI 30X. These ones aren't as worth as much. They're like 15, 20 bucks instead of 50 for the 84. Another one. What? Calculator. Oh, that's a good one. That's going to be the 84, right? TI 83 plus. So probably, I'm going to guess like 40 bucks. Still does mostly the same stuff. And then we got, eh, what is that? Some type of. Starlight thing, maybe? Yeah, I'm about to say put lights on the ceiling. And other than that, we got some random toys and some random books in this tote. So we took out a lot of trash clothes and like $1 cheap things, stuff like that. But now we got this super cool table. I've never seen anything like this. Look at this. Like, what do you think this is actually meant for? Like it's intended purpose. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Me neither, but you know, I think it's pretty cool. So I honestly might keep it if I had a use for it. This is another reason I wanted to get the unit. I saw the guns and I saw this like plethora of deer antlers, which means obviously they're a hunter, unless they just go around, you know, dead deer, they get hit by cars and rip off their <laughs> antlers, which would be a little weird, not gonna lie. I mean, I don't I mean, know if these have a value to them. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? I don't know. I, I think there's a craft value. Definitely, but them. I feel like a lot of things to hunting, it's more of like a trophy, you know, like you got it yourself, not you want to buy somebody else's, but yeah. you never know. The antlers might have some type of value. So I looked these up on eBay and they do sell, weirdly enough, between like $25 up to $130, depending on size, the points, and what type of deer it came from. And we have like 30 of them in this bucket, so that's a lot of money. On their own? Kind of like cool. 50 of them in there. Yeah, literally like 50. This dude is controlling deer population on his own. <laughs> then we have tote here with one, two, some book bags and some random containers. Let's go in some of these bags and see what we got, if anything. That's nice. Caution tape. Caution tape. <laughs> Caution tape. What is that? Vivicam Vivitar 5024. So a little red camera. Okay, this is just getting awkward. <laughs> <laughs> then duct tape. 
So uh, please tell me, enlighten me in the comments. What are a camera, duct tape, and caution tape used to do? You know, I'm just gonna act like I didn't see this and put this back inside this bag. And if the next bag's anywhere near as creepy as that one, then this is gonna get weird fast. Oh, this one's open. That's because there's nothing in it. Nothing in that guy. This right here, scissors, super glue. So if the tape's right, it's like crafting stuff. And me, yeah, and that looks more like, I don't know, stuff. Yeah, just stuff. Stuff, definitely stuff. This guy, what is this? What's in there? There's a glass guy in there. A gnome. A little gnome. And then this, is this just a dolphin? No, it's a pig. Yeah, it looked like a dolphin the other way. A pig. Go back in there, Bacon. Oh, look at the little black box. What's in there? Anything interesting? Some, this is make, This is getting even weirder to me. Uh, pencil sharpener. What is this? Just like some random buff guy. Okay. Okay. A random note to my baby from Donald Duck. I'm not even joking. This is getting very, very strange in this right here. This right here is like a whole little personal thing with all kinds of weird information in it. So I'll look at that. But other than that, that tote's empty. Check out this old wooden baby chair. Well, I can't think of high chair. High I can't think of the name. I was like baby chair. <laughs> old wooden baby chair. God, I did it again. Old wooden high chair. That is, it a, is high a chair. Baby chair I though. mean, technically, I'm not wrong. But what is this? I was trying to figure this out. This looks like something you like stick your hand in there and press this down and it chops it off or something. Uh, it is. Look at what you're holding. What? A what knob? Is that? What does that look like? A golf ball? Yeah. Oh, it's a golf ball cleaner? Like cleaning thing? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't play golf. <laughs> something to do with golf, I think. Is this a welding mask? It looks like some Fallout like T-Series armor to me. That's what it reminds me of, but I'm what, guessing welder. What does it look like when you put it on? It's... You want to put that on? No. <laughs> Look at the other side. The other side is disgusting. But that. And then we got a pillow. And then we got a treasure chest that I've been dying to open. Hey. What do you think? Gold? Ammo. Gold. Aww. Oxygen! Woo! Yay! So we moved a bunch more yard sale stuff here. A lot of cheap stuff in here. But quantity wise, I think we're going to be okay with this unit. Let's go into this because it looked like a bunch of sealed bags. I'm hoping they're not just empty. They look like there was something in them. That one definitely has something in it. Let's see what it is. It's another bag. A bag Okay. A bag. What's in this bag? If it's another bag, I'm throwing it. Let's see. In this bag is a strap. Ah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. What about the Minions box? It's something. <laughs> another bag. bag. Really? Stop this. This is not right. There's no way this bag has a bag in it. It's a nice like, nice, like Tiffany blue. Let's see. Where's the zipper? There better not be another bag in here. Okay, I'm suing. <laughs> We're going to court. Uh, what is this? A fanny pack. Is there anything in here? A lot of people keep money in these at like yard sales and stuff. I always see. Let's see if there's anything in there. Nothing in that front pocket. What about the middle pocket? Let's see. Something else in there. No, it's nothing. Dang it. Empty. There's more stuff in here too. Look. A little gift box. Nothing in it. Stuff's so random. And then a belt. Weird. Weird stuff. The nest is actually just empty. And then we get a little pack of balloons. Now the gray toe, because this side's broken. Whatever's in it looks really rainbow colored. I'm kind of curious what the heck it is. Is that a giant fish? A giant fish. That's one nice. thing. This right here, a vase. It looks like other than that, it might be some stuffed animals. That's a Christmas That's a wreath. Papa John's pizza thing. Yeah, don't you keep your Christmas wreaths in your pizza bag? I mean, I thought that was fairly normal. Yeah, I guess. No. <laughs> Marvel right there. Random. This is Spider-Man. What else is over here? What else is over here? Pillow, a dinosaur, and just some more stuffed animals. So again, I feel like I've said this 20 times, bunch of yard sale stuff so far. Everything I haven't showed you, I'm considering a dollar or less or donation. That's why we haven't put it in the video. But I open this box and the first thing I see is Nike and Lego. So I'm like, we got to record this one. <laughs> Let's start with Nike or Lego. Which one? Uh, Lego. Lego? Sounds like Legos. Let's see if that's what it is. Open up. Oh, jeez. This is for kids? <laughs> Who? Like Superboy? Well, it's for parents and they oh. have stuff on them. There you go. Ready for your feet. Yeah, there's no worse pain on planet Earth than stepping on one of those Legos because it is over. And that is the right way for shoes. Hopefully they're Jordans. Or, oh no, they're not. Ooh, they're cards. Yeah. Look, an Eevee. But it's a 2018 Eevee. Eevee. These cards right here. Oh look, this one still has a sticker on it. You think that means it's unopened? Yeah, it looks, uh, probably, I don't know. Let's open. Money, money, no, just a card. 
What about this one? Oh look, this one's sealed too, look. Come on. One of these gotta have something in it because, well, we're not doing very well right now. <laughs> we haven't found a whole lot to recover $700. Come on, money. No, 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 just an extra folded card. Dang it. What about this one? This one's sealed. No, that's not sealed. Looks sealed. Ah, doesn't look like there's gonna be anything in it. One more. Come on. Uh, I hate cards like this that have like extra fluff in it that makes it feel like there's something in there when there's really not. No, there's nothing in this guy either. Just cards. Some more loose cards in here. Uh, a little VIP lanyard. Oh yeah, exclusive for what? Let's see, Space Cops. Movie, I guess. Birthday Boy, and yeah, just cards. So we'll try to get this personal stuff back to the original owner. And let's see if there's anything else in here besides clothes. Looks like a lot of clothes. Yeah, unfortunately, towels and clothes is all that else is in the box. I actually found something cool besides these two guys, obviously. That's the main, that's what baited us into this unit. But we'll get to those. But in here, I found something cool. An NES Mini with both controllers. So that's good. They don't go for like a whole lot. They were like 75, 80 bucks. I don't know if they're still there, more or less, or what? Is that silver? No stainless. But an NES Mini, it's like a little miniature Nintendo that has a bunch of games pre-programmed onto it. I have the Super Nintendo version. I don't have the Nintendo version, but now I do. All right, so we have taken so much out of this unit. There's not a whole lot. I think I got clickbaited by those rifles, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I did find this though, with some bed frames. You could tell this is a barrel, probably to a 12 gauge, if I had to assume, judging off the size of it. So I'm hoping, remember, the unit next door is the same size as this one and is also the same guy, so. That could be hoped that that could be in there. I kept this Marvel puzzle, brand new in box, you know, GameStop Marvel puzzle. We got us a little guitar here. Ready? Yep. I'm regretting buying this unit, yeah. <laughs> That's all you're getting from me, music -wise. I love it. This, I, I gotta keep this, right? Isn't that just beautiful? Yes, it is. I mean, it's just beautiful fact, you know? Then we got the little Marine bear. Uh, like that. But, <laughs> but the weird thing is, like, the guy we found, we looked this guy up, and it's, we always looked the relatives up. I can't find anybody that's in the Marines, and I found no evidence of Marine stuff in here, so I don't know where that came from. This, I'm thinking, is a pressure washer. That's what it looks like to me. I see a 3000 max PSI. It's, I don't know, it looks used, obviously, but you know how tools are. They hold their value. They take a beating, they go out in the dirt, and they get dirty. That's what they do. That should still hold its value. This guy right here, the toolbox that I have not gone into yet, so let's hope it's full. Yeah, it's got some tools on top and some more tools on the bottom. Again, these we just put the whole thing on like a Facebook Marketplace probably for like 40 bucks and somebody will buy that up in a heartbeat. Now, the beauties. So let's check this out. They are really old looking. It's a 22 clear, chamber's empty right there. You can see nothing in there. It's just bolt action. I don't even see a place for a magazine, so it's literally one bullet fed at a time old school 22 and you know what's crazy the only marking i see on the barrel anyway is right there it says patent that's it there's nothing else written on the barrel on the stock on the bottom so i'm guessing this guy's probably pretty old let's hope it's not like just an old piece of crap i hope it has some type of collectible value even now you guys already know i'm not gonna sell it let's go to number two here this one does have a magazine that is empty in the there it is, chamber on that guy is empty as well. Again, a little 22. Look at the screws on this one though. You can just tell by the screws, that thing looks really old. And again, there is absolutely, this one doesn't even have the word patent on it. There's nothing written on the barrel of this rifle. So I have no idea how old this guy is or that guy is, but definitely the coolest things in the unit by far. This, I'm gonna be honest with you, I thought it was a blanket, but what did you say this is? So there's a patch on it uh, somewhere, it looks like. I can't remember where it was, but somewhere. it's at Equestrian. It's down here. Oh, right here. Shire's Grand Prix Equestrian. So I'm pretty sure it's like a horse jacket. Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's cool. I thought it was a blanket, but that's one thing I don't know anything about. I don't even know anyone that owned animals outside of cats and dogs. So no idea what that's going to be worth. Horse people, let us know in the comments. Well, as you can see, this one now is completely 100% empty. And if I'm being honest, 
Nickel and diming the dollar yard sale. This one might be a break even. It really wasn't that great because the other unit that the same guy owned is the one that looks a lot more interesting. So let's go into a second unit. This one we paid $780 for and I can see a lot more money in this one even though it is an absolute mess. There's the taxidermy bobcat. Most of them are going for $1,000, $1,500. Craftsman toolbox, new looking Tim's at the front, deer head in the back. I figured we found the 22s in there, but you ain't killing that big buck with a 22. So I'm hoping there's something else inside this unit if you catch my drift. All right, let's start going through some stuff in this unit right here. What is this? Looks like a drum, doesn't it? It sounds like something's in there. It sounds like it could be coins. Let's see what that is. Uh, nope, socket wrench pieces. Ah, get back. I'll catch you in a second. In here, shoe, cleaner, not cool. These I also saw sitting right at the front. They gotta be Tim's, right? Where, yeah, look at that. I mean, they're like brand, not brand new. There's a little bit of wear on it, but it's more so dirt. It'll wipe right off. You can always tell by the bottoms. They definitely don't look like they've been worn very often. A little bit on the heels, but that's definitely good value. This leather, oh my gosh, it's heavy. This is really, this is a Harley Davidson biker jacket. And I found these in the past and they are not cheap. I think we sold our last ones for like a hundred bucks or so pre-owned. Cause I always find them when I pick them up, I'm like, there's gotta be something in these pockets cause it's just so heavy, but it's not. It's just how the jacket's made. So that is definitely a bit around a hundred bucks. You hear that hit the ground? This is a million, obviously. Used pillow. Let's see what's in the laundry hamper. Anything? Oh, this is for you. Look. They're the worst hangers. kind of hangers. Wire hangers. And some really old rusty tools in there. So, yeah, we're going to just... Oh, my gosh, it's heavy. That. Why do you have this? That's big. Whoa. That's a, yeah, that's a lot more than I thought. Why? Just why? Look how many beer bottles. I mean, I feel like crafting-wise, there might be something somebody would use these for. But other than crafting... I can't think of much use for a bunch of old used beer bottle tops. We got some CD things here and they're actually full. So we do have some music CDs in there. This one too. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty much awful. And it's even better, Tech 9 too, a lot of Tech 9. So Ritz, it's even better when they keep like the, um, I was about to say the book in there. There's a lot of Tech 9 in there. Where's Khalifa too? So yeah, hip hop for us, Yellow Wolf. Hip hop for me at least is the easiest to sell like it always sells quicker than anything else and always has better value because it is kind of the best but i guarantee you this alone will get at least like 20 bucks for all the cds in here we've only just started moving clothes and look over there you see that we've already uncovered something i'm about to see if i can get to it can you see it yeah Ugh. might be a bb i don't know Ugh. i think this yeah this is a bb gun still not bad not bad and all daisy Oh, it's already loaded. Look at that. Let's just put it into something, because why not in that jacket? See if it fires. Oh, oh yep. Yeah, it fires, <laughs> all right. So there's an old school. You can tell because it's actually wood. They don't really use wood anymore in the new ones. So that's pretty cool. I'm telling you, they're in here. Look what I just found again. Another one of these guys. It's a barrel, and it says on one side of it right here, Remington on it. So it's definitely, like I said, judging off the size, just like the last one, looks like a shotgun barrel. So I'm hoping it's like a piece to something that's in this unit. They have a bobcat, they have a deer. Like I said before, you're not killing them with a 22. There's something else in here. To all those people out there to say our videos are bad when they're obviously good, just so you know, facts over feelings. Your feelings don't matter because facts are facts and these videos are banger. You should leave it a thumbs up right now and subscribe if you're not already. So look, I picked this book up, right? Listen, what kind of book sounds like that? So instantly, we knew this is a false book. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more interesting than that. We have a screwdriver and I'm gonna call that another questionable activity device right there. I was hoping there'd be like a wad of cash or something in there, but you know, just a little book. And the worst thing about it, it's the best children books. Like really, <laughs> you use that for that. Then license plate, and you wanna go to the tackle box? Sure. Doesn't sound like much in there. Let's see, it'll open. Nothing. Oh, I'm done with this unit. Did you see that? Oh. No. <laughs> uh, I'll give you a hint. Yeah, Th at this point, I think it's just trolling me. I really feel like this unit's trolling me. So we move this bucket, and I'm pretty sure I see a good amount of ammo in there. We're gonna look at that in a second. But I've been looking at these binders. You usually haven't seen much, right? But where was it this one we saw? That, number one. First off, I saw a $2 bill. So I was like, okay, there could be cash in these things, even though it's only <laughs> two bucks, you know? Right. And I also saw the underdog comic. I saw it as a number one issue. And then there was another one, Riverdale. I mean, the corner's really bent to crap, but you know, some comic books could be worth a ton of money. Then I wanted to flip through here a little bit more to make sure I don't see anything else like that. 
The personal stuff, of course, we'll send back, but yeah, I don't see anything else like that in here. So now, I wanna see what's in this tote because it's right next to the ammo and under the comic, so it seems like a good idea. What you do, what is this? Kitchen huh. stuff? Uh. That's what it looks like to me. What is that? This is shoe shining equipment. That's weird. And we got some kitchen pieces in here. Let's see what's in that. That's a Virginia, it's probably a high school certificate or something like that, or diploma. Open up, you. That's exactly what it is. So that, and then some pottery, pictures, and things like that. Let's get this out the way and let's go through this ammo. Before we start pulling the ammo out, let's see if there's anything in the tackle box. Oh, it's actually kind of full. But at least this one has fishing stuff in it and not well, you know, what the other one had in it. That's a good little tackle box, definitely easy money. Now I saw a box of 22 ammo right here. 22 LR, 22 LR, 22. There's how many rounds are in each one of these? Uh, does it say? It doesn't say, really? How does it not say? That's like the one piece of information we would need to know. 20? But no, there's oh. more than 20. There's three, then we have four. Let's see, let's just kind of open it. It's a lot. I would say probably 50, something like that. But then we got another box right there, another box right here. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six of them right there. Seven. What else? There's eight. There's nine. They're all full, by the way. Come on, don't give me nine. That would just bother my OCD to absolute crap. Let's go through this stuff a little bit. What's in here? It looks really dirty. There's another one. Where you see it? Oh, there's one. Ten. Okay, at least we got that. Is this a real book or another? Oh, nice. What happened? Mold. Yeah, that. There's that. Look at this old like skeleton key. I feel like it's got to go to something. Set it right there. And I see a bunch of junk in here. Keyboard. Oh. Well, I know what that is. Let's hope we find what goes in there eventually. Anything in here? Just more paper and the paperwork we'll look through. Is that all that's in the tote? That is all that's in the tote. But hey, that's probably 500 rounds of 22 ammo right there. Now let's get into these plastic drawers. But before I do that, I want to point out two things that are sitting up here. Most of you guys probably know what this is. This is the cover of a scope to cover both sides, which is, again, pointing with what we want to see. This, well, you know, this never really has very good intentions unless you're a jeweler. Other than that, bad things. Let's see what's in here. What's that? Like some Native American plate? That's actually really cool. Does it have a make on it? It's kind of chipped down here a little bit, but nothing written on it. Let's see if there's anything else in there. See a little bit of jewelry. Uh, what's that? Keys. Maybe if we find a safe or something, we'll have some keys to it. The toilet paper thing. Let's go to the second drawer. This, ooh, a jewelry box. That's not empty. Let's see what's in there. Come on, open up. Oh, it's a little necklace. What is it? Does it say sterling silver? That's probably, it's really light, so it's not gonna be a whole lot of silver, but you know. Boy, that scared me. That scared me again. Silver, still silver. We have change in here, some pictures. Dime, couple random things. Bottom guy, let's see. Papers, multi-tool, what's that? Oh, well, that's just very random stuff. Down here, oh, it's empty. I just see, there's some change mixed in there. Is that an Apple Watch? Or is that an Apple Watch band, isn't it? Yeah, just a band with a bunch of random stuff in there, but there's some change mixed in there. I'm pretty sure I see what looks like of quite a few boxes of ammo by the weight of this. If it is, it's definitely a lot. This is what I saw, hey, beautiful. It's actually rifle ammo too. So the only things we found so far were 22s. So, and finding ammo like that, that's a good sign because that hopefully means they have to have some kind of other rifle in here. What is this thing? It's like a key lock for a door, isn't it? Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna set it over here. Look at that, there's another box of ammo. Same thing, 7.62 by 39. There's another one, there's a sock. Look at this, another guy, these are all full, right? I feel them in there, I just wanna make sure they didn't put casings in there. No, they're unused. So brand new, look, one, two, how many boxes is that? Five, six. There, there's a bunch of ammo at the bottom, really shells. There's eight. Oh man, look at this. Here's 10 boxes. Here's 11 boxes. There's shotgun shells in here too. We haven't found a shotgun either, so. Look how much rifle ammo is in here though. We got a crap ton right here. Let's see, is that all? No, there's more. And there's a bunch of loose ammunition in here too. Some of them 
as you can see are just the casings. Some of them are actual unused sh shotgun shells and even some handgun rounds it looks like down here. So yeah, I definitely, definitely, the 22 in here as well. Bunch of ammo on this guy. What is that? That looks violent, doesn't it? But anyway, I definitely have faith because there's a lot of, you know, treasure hidden in here. I still have my fingers crossed that there's gonna be something else that fires, you know, bullets in this guy. This unit just trolled me so hard. Let's see what I find. A bank envelope. What's it look like? Thick as crap. Heart rate goes up. I'm like, oh my gosh, pull it out. Nah, it's just somebody's checks. A bunch of checks in there. But I also want to say in a tote of just dirty clothes, random dirty clothes, right? There's just casually a yellow box of 44 cal hollow point bullets inside the box. No gun, no more ammo, just casually a box of ammo in a tote of clothes. What do you think about these Jordans? Are they in there? Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're in there. But if they're clean or not, I don't know. Eh, they look pretty good actually. Not bad. Not bad at all. I mean, not like brand new, but still definitely, definitely good shape. I see another Jordan box off in the distance there. Can't quite get to it yet, but it's definitely over there. So if this one's in there, give me hope that that's in there as well. You ready? Look what I found. I got a tomahawk. Looks pretty cool actually. Looks like definitely something made like Native American like. And I wanted to go through this because, well, when we look at what's sitting in here. Again, just a bunch of random 12 gauge shotgun shells. And I want to see if there's anything in the purse. Not quite. But we got some socks. And just that, it's really it. But we keep finding different ammunition and we keep finding other things. Like I just put a freaking, I don't know where I said it at actually, but a slit this. I think it's like a, you know, rifle thing. I put this over here. We keep finding pieces. I guarantee you, like I said, it's gotta be back here somewhere and we're gonna find it. So inside of a bunch more dirty clothes, we found a couple cool hidden things. Check out this stamp thing of all Elvis stamps, 29 cents. I have no idea what year they're from. But it's a whole entire sheet, which is I thought was pretty cool. Usually I found an Elder stamp before, but it's always, you know, one in an envelope. Never a whole sheet like that. Found a couple bags of jewelry. I just wanted to look through and see if we have any gold or anything like that. These are just patches. This one, there is a necklace in there that could potentially be gold. So let's take it out and check that out. Come here, little guy. Come here, little guy. Let's see what that says. No, these are um, just costume jewelry. So there's that. And I honestly put this here. It does feel like it has shoes in it. Let's see if it's another good pair. Ooh, it's actually a pink and gray pair of Jordans in that box. Not bad. And we finally got to like a good box that looked like it was actually sealed and stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't think we've had one of those yet in this unit. So let's actually just sit here and go through it. Yeah, it looks like a lot of bathroom stuff, but we're gonna see anyway. Like this, oh, no, it's not bad. You see what I see, don't you? Look at this, Ugh, get out of there. Well, there is some bathroom stuff, but I'm talking about this right here. Whole bunch of ammo. It's um 25-06. I've only ever seen 30-06 or whatever you want to call it. So I've never even seen those before. I'm going to sit down here so we can kind of go through it. This little golden guy here, just a mirror. One little set of ammo, which is weird just to have one. All right, maybe that means there's more. This looks like bathroom. Bathroom. What's in the tote though? That's the question. Is that ammo? Oh no, these are a CO2 cartridges, usually for um, BB guns. And yeah, nothing. I don't want to know what that thing's there for. I don't like the shape of it right there. So I'm just going to not touch that. Let's put this over here. There's definitely more totes in here. What are they? This one, ammo? Uh no. Kind of like random hardware, light bulb, change, things like that. No ammo or weapons. That's nothing. Let's go to this guy here and see if there's anything in this one. Come on, open up. I uh, see, ooh, what's that? Is that an Apple Watch? That's something. Let's see what that is. See if it opens. There's nothing in it. I honestly, what is that purple thing? I don't know if I want to know. I really don't know if I want to know. We're just going to leave it there and I'm not going to touch it because it looks like, well, it looks like a plug. Let's just say that. It's not going in a wall. Is that a vape? Spray paint. This is some wiring, lights, nothing. Last little tote down here. Looks like it's all actually more makeup stuff with a little bit of change in there. That first thing with the ammunition got me excited, but it looks like that's literally the only firearm related thing in the whole box. I found a buck! Not a dollar, like literally a buck. Look at this guy. Look at him in the face and tell him he didn't deserve to be a mount. You didn't deserve <laughs> to be a mount. But I'll bet you he was delicious. Even though he was killed 
back in 1991. This buck is older than me by th three years. Look at this guy. Hunters, let me know, do people buy these or is this more of a like a trophy for you know your own hunt to remember your own hunt? Or do you think this is good and sellable? Let me know. So, so much garbage in here, but I was moving this tote around and the first thing I saw was that there was this scope on top of it, which got me excited. So I started digging through this one. And by the way, all this says 3X to 9X Redfield. So I don't know if that's a good or expensive one. Found this right here and I found 20 loose rounds of the same ammunition we found earlier, the 7.62 by 39. So almost a, pretty much another full box of 20. And then we also found this boar snake, which is a um, pistol cleaner. So I was like, there's gotta be something related in there, gun related. We found a bead necklace, but still no actual firearms yet. But you know, always take more ammo. You can never have enough. Check out this beautiful bobcat here. He did not deserve to be a mount, but he is a pretty mount, that's for sure. Definitely, definitely cool. So we looked these up on eBay before I bought the unit. So taxidermy bobcats seem to range between like 900 bucks up to $1,500, especially like full body ones. The ones that were just like here up were like five, 600 bucks. So I'm hoping this guy will pay for a lot of the unit if we don't decide to put him in a house for a little while. Cause he is cool. You know, we have a lot of cats. I like cats, even stuffed cats. They still look cool. I never, even though it's taxidermy, doesn't it just feel weird to be like that up close, like touching a bobcat's <laughs> teeth? Like it's just weird, right? Yeah. So if you go over here, we also have a bunch of, well, I thought that was a rifle at first. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six fishing poles. None of them have any line in them or anything right now, but you know, fishing poles are fishing poles, even cheap ends still get like 10 bucks a piece pre-owned. Look at these giant wrenches. <sighs> See what else I found? but nothing to go in it, <laughs> just the holster itself. Then we got the two giant wrenches. This craftsman box is actually not completely loaded, but each section does have some tools in it, like some screwdrivers there. I think this is the one that's stuck. I can't get the second drawer open or the third drawer, but down here, again, you see a bunch of pliers, then some bits, and then a whole bunch of other things in there. So a whole bunch of tools in there. The only other thing I've been going through is this right here. Check it out, it definitely looks antique to me. And it's got this little key here that you actually, is it open? No, it's locked again. You turn this to open it up and it's not working now because the camera's on. There it is. Nothing inside of it, unfortunately, besides this. I don't know what that is. It's probably part of it, but I'm definitely guessing that's old and antique for sure. Can you see yourself in it? Yeah. <laughs> then this, last thing in the back of the unit, another tackle box. I'm not gonna open it because it's not really that much stuff in there, but you can see fishing line, a couple lures, and a couple other fishing pieces in that guy. 